The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the December 6th, the magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, well, we've got you covered there too. You can always let those fingers do the walking. That means go ahead and send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magnificent Marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network, I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. All the indices, with the exception of the semiconductors, are trading to the upside. The Dow's up 717 and wants to continue to trade higher. The S&P 63, it too wants higher price. The NDX 100, 121, it wants higher price. The Russell's up 43. The Russell, I'm not so sure. Could see a short-term top here that forms any time between now and uh, 2 p.m. So we'll keep an eye on that. You've got the trannies up 400 points, 2.5%. That is the big leader to the upside. Spot volatility still above its 50-day exponential moving average, trading out at 2770. You've got gold up about 270. Silver's up off 16 pennies. Lights recruit is up 267. Lead the charge dollar-wise. The upside booking holdings, 178 bucks, 8.5%. That's a big mover. Amazon's up 67 bucks. That's 2%. Mercado Libre up 4.5%, 47 bucks. Boston Beer up 36. Hmm, that showed up as a buy this morning. That's up 8%. And Chipotle, uh, 33 points. That's up uh, 2%. HubSpot to the downside, 56 bucks off 7.5%. Bionitech is off 15%, 53 bucks. Moderna down 42. Zscaler off 41. MicroStrategy down 41. No request just yet. And uh, so let's just go take a look at the general markets out here. So do we have a bottom or what? Well, let's go take a look at this set of charts here first. So give me a moment. We're going to switch to the white background chart. It's going to be our four equity future contract charts out here. You've got the ES Mini in the upper left. Now, the ES Mini, it does have an, uh, it's really the S&P 500 that's got the A to B equals C D pattern. We'll take a look at that. You know, I kind of would struggle to draw in an A to B equals C D pattern here for the S&P 500. But even this, right at its breakout level, 45, 43, you know, you've got a bull sash candle for me. Price is going to go target its oscillator and change line. That's about the 46, 49 level. In the NQ, so the NDX 100, the NASDAQ composite, they both have bottoming, well, yeah, they both have bottoming patterns out there. The NQ doesn't. If the NQ were to generate a bullish reversal candle today, then we'd have uniformity between the futures contracts, the cash indices out there. And that would suggest that price would go target 16,134. And at 16,134, should the NQ bounce up to that level? That's where we will learn whether this is just a counter trend rally or not. It'll come from the NQ. If we take a look at the Dow, the Dow formed a TD nine count bottom. It did that last Wednesday. Right now, price and, and price should have, you and I, we took a look at this. We talked about this early Friday morning. We talked about this on Thursday. The Dow should have gone to target its oscillator and change line. Well, it's done that. And right now, and, and 
It had changed colors about four days ago. When it changed colors, the odds increase that we're going to see price in that line catch up to each other. Well, now price is trading above that line. That line is 35,159. I don't know where price will end up today, but I do know that on the intraday charts, we took a look at this during the market update, that signal is that it wants to move higher out there. So if price does close above 35,158, it says it has more to go to the upside. Now, on this white background chart, I do have a different set of profiles. The bottom and the top are the same. It is the center that is different. On my Ninja Trader charts, even though they're using the same data, sometimes they just simply generate different profile levels. This is a bullish structured profile. And a close about 35,157 here would say we run to 35,900. I won't show you it, not because I won't or don't want to, just I don't have to change screens right now. What I can share with you, before price gets up there, the black background charts, the e-signal charts, they show the next profile level, the center of its profile at 35,505. So that's the level. Now, if price can clear 35.505. I'm not saying it has to do it today, but if price does close above it, that's going to signal the move to the 35.900 area or even 36.105. So you got a nice confirmed bottom in the Dow. Closing above that oscillator and change line would be a positive out there. Lastly, if you take a look at the Russell 2000, you can see its oscillator and change line also change colors. Price should go target that. It has a TD9 count bottom as well. It also has a new up daily profile that has formed. 2157, 70 if you want to be exact is the bottom. The center's at 2220. That's where price is going to target. And if price can close above that, then it gets to the 2255 level or so. And then above that, the top of the profile, 2282. So we've got basically three of the four have bottoms here. But if we do change over real quickly, we'll do this here. I can do that while we're still on the same screen. Go take a look at the indice charts. What we will see is in the S&P 500 here, that's panel number two from the up, on the upper side from the left hand panel, you'll see a completed A to B equals C to that completed last Thursday when it generated that piercing candle. So even though the ES mini does not have that same A to B equals CD down pattern, the S&P 500 does, so it's generated a bottom signal. In the case of the NDX 100, it's possible that it'll generate a hammer candle today. That's a candle that is present right now at its TD nine count breakout level. And so if it does generate that, uh, hammer candle or some type of bullish reversal candle today that will then generate a Gartley buy pattern. You can see the TD9 counts on the Russell 2000 as long as we're here. Yes, the semiconductor index is trading lower, but what it's really doing, it's just simply trading with inside that consolidation pattern out there. Now, usually I save this for the um, a two o'clock update. I'll probably review this again during the two o'clock update, but just to be thorough with regard to are the markets generating a bottom pattern to us or not. Uh, let's go take a look at the NASDAQ composite. It too has got a TD9 count bottom that formed on Friday out there. So you've got a bottom pattern there. The New York Stock Exchange, the same thing. So we'll pull this over here. The New York Stock Exchange generates a TD9 count bottom. It's going to go target its oscillator and change line. That's at 16,691. Uh, so um, yeah, if you're asking the question, has the market bottom? The absolute answer is yes. The question becomes, is this just a counter trend rally? And the easiest way, I believe, to answer that decision is going to come from the chart patterns. And the chart pattern is really inside the NQ. So I'll just simply expand this chart out. So that's all we're looking at. Remember, when you close below the bottom of a bullish structured profile, in this case, that's what we're looking at for the NQ. And it closed below it on the trading day of uh, last week. That was on the trading day of December 1st. Closed back below it on the next day, two consecutive closes. You can see even the rally the following day ran right in resistance at the center of that bear, bullish structure profile, 16.134. That's where the NQ is likely headed to. If it can close above that, more than a counter trend rally. But that's where the market would turn down or should turn down on a move higher. Folks, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Give us a call at 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's get to our first question out here. This one's coming in from the Tigers Den, and the S&P wants to go ahead and take a look at Expedia. EXPE is the uh, ticker symbol. So uh, what Expedia has done today, or is doing right now, it's confirming a Gartley buy pattern. So you can see the one to one, or the you can see the A to B equals CD pattern that, that I've drawn in here. Uh, and what we wait for is some type of bullish reversal candle. Well, you've got that today. That's a nice big old bull sash candle out here. So we'll take a look at my white background chart, see if there's anything else of significance significance out here, but price should at least go target the bottom of that profile, 177.62. At 170.09 is the center of a slightly bullish structured profile out there. So a close above that S&P would suggest run to 184.60. Price is above the top of the monthly profile, so that looks pretty good from that long-term standpoint. Let's go see what other signals we might have out here. So here, uh, you can see it formed a road momentum indicator top. That was confirmed with this Three River Evening Star pattern on November the 10th. Now we've got the A to B equals CD pattern that we showed you. Also bottomed on Friday with uh, wave number four, letter D. We didn't, of course, know that that would be the end of it, but as part of the Chapman wave, Basil likes to look at that fourth wave out there. But what's really more important for us is that right now, much like the Dow Equity Future contract, the YM, which is trading above its oscillator and change line, see how that color line changed? When that changes, tells us that price and that line have a uh, have a meeting with each other. Now, if price re rejects this level, SNP, means closes back below the oscillator and change line, 167.68, all we will have is a, a definition of a counter trend move. If price closes above it, says we move higher, that higher level here would be the 177.62 area. On a weekly basis, as we take a look at this, uh, can we get to the weekly chart, Steve-O? There we go. On a weekly basis, what do I have here? Not much other than price held or is back above the bottom of its weekly profile. Uh, so again, suggest we're making that run for 170.09 in the center, which is also the weekly oscillator and change line. So with regard to Expedia, it's pretty simple. Today, it is confirming a Gartley buy pattern and buy the D point. 
because of its bull sash candle. And if price can uh, remain above 168.61, it should make a run for the center of that weekly profile in the 170 area, and then above that, 177.62. So SNP, I hope that helps you out with regard to Expedia, and uh, thanks so much for the request. Our next request coming in from LB. Lee Wright said, he says, I was wondering if you could give me a buy in point on URA, looking for a long-term hold. So let's go take a look at URA. That is the uranium ETF out here. And so we're looking for patterns. So we're looking for patterns. It's really close to a hammer candle. We'll give it the benefit of the doubt and call it a hammer candle today. Let's go see if this has confirmed an A to B equals C. Now, re remember this though, Lee, is that we really need the end of day signal versus, hey, what's it doing right now? But as we take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern, this is basically completed out here. Uh, the price projection was 2244. The low this morning is 2277. That's close enough for my work. If we do get that confirmed hammer candle, that's going to be a buy the D point. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, what we can see is prices pulled back to test the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. We get rid of some of the other tools that are out there. So that's a nice, so you, when, when price pulls back to a level of support, let's say a weekly level of support, in this case, the bottom of the weekly profile, we always like to go to the daily time frame, one shorter time frame, and look for some type of bottom signals. Well, when it comes to uranium, you've got that. Let's look at the white background charts, see if there's any other information here that we need to know about, Lee. And uh, you've got the oscillator and change line, which changed colors four bars ago. Uh, so this suggests a run up to the 2612, 2653 area. That's looking at the daily chart, the weekly time frame chart out here. Nothing more to add than what we already looked at. Um, so, yeah, if you're looking to get in on uranium, a couple of choices out here. You can go ahead and take that move right now or wait to see what today's candle ends up being. And if it is a bullish hammer candle or a bullish reversal candle, then go ahead and fire away. Short-term charts, 30-minute, shows the road's minimum indicator bottom. Even though I normally use 65, I don't have that right now on this set of charts here, but you've got on the 60-minute time frame a TD9 count and Rhodes Mintum Indicator bottom, the 120. Um, you don't have a confirmed bottom just yet. You do on the 240. You do on the 300. So you've really got everything that you need out here, Lee, to go ahead and take a trade. Just use proper position sizing out there. And uh, best of luck to you. The average true range on this is um, – $1.43. So your stop should be $1.43 times 1.618 is what I would use. Whatever that number ends up being, I don't know, $2.25 or $2.10, whatever that is. Make sure that that is your stop below, you know, where, wherever you enter the, uh, the trade out there. So thanks so much for writing in and have a uh, magical, marvelous, magnificent Monday. Let's go to this next request out here. This is coming in from Joe. Joe wants to take a look at Tilray, T-L-R-Y, T-L-R-Y is the ticker symbol. Joe says, do you see a bottom for Tilray today? And if I should start a long position. So we take a look at uh, Tilray, T-L-R-Y. We're really just doing the same thing here. Now, do we have an A to B equals CD pattern? Not really. Do I have a bullish? Well, I mean, I can draw it in, but it's not going to show us anything that's completed. I don't believe that it will. Our A point out here, the trading day of November 5th. The B point looks like it's, yeah, see, I hate, I hate having to use the same candle, but I will because that's how you got to do it. So the B point and the C point, the B point is going to be the bottom of November 22nd, and the C point is going to be the high from November 22nd. And so that one to one, it's a little bit, too, so, so we're not there yet, um, Joe. Uh, that price target would be 747. Now, that's not the only bottom pattern that can form out here, so we've got to go take a look at my other charts. But here's what we can share with you about Tilray. doesn't look good unless we see a bottoming pattern. Why? Price below the bottom of the daily, the bottom of the weekly, and the bottom of the monthly charts out there. So let's pull over my other charts. Give me a moment to do this. I believe we have, well, we've got daily, weekly, and monthly. Perfect. That's kind of really all that we need out here. So on the daily chart, we're going to form bar number seven today of a TD9. Is that yeah, that's the daily. Let me pull this back, make it least easier for you to uh, to to see. So I, I would I would there, this could with the TD nine count pattern, Joe. This could form a bottom between tomorrow, Tuesday, and Thursday out there. So maybe let's look at this tomorrow or on Wednesday. But right now, I don't see the sign of a bottom signal out here. On a weekly basis, the same thing. On a monthly basis, yeah, no, nothing more to add there. So I would be patient on Tilray. The other thing that I would do, in this, I don't know what the weightings are 
uh, off the top of my head, you know, when I'm referring to weightings, I'm referring to the actual sector. MJ represents the sector. Tilray is a part of it. And so you'd like to see some type of bottoming pattern for the sector as well versus just an individual stock chart. And here when we take a look at MJ, it negated its TD9 count about three or four days ago. I don't see any bottom signal here at this stage. So that is just telling me that with regard to Tilray, just sit tight. Look for that potential TD9 count. Uh, preferably, let's take a look at this on Wednesday, I would think. But that's what you would be looking for. So I hope that that helps you out. And thanks so much for writing in. Let's see if we've got any other requests out here. I believe we do not. And is there any? Oh, we have a caller on the line. Let's go out to Earl. And, oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, Let's let's hold off. We're about to go to a break here. So, Earl, when we come back from this uh, break in about uh, 15 seconds, we'll come back out to you. Uh, I think you want to take a look at uh, GLD. That's the ETF that represents uh, gold. And so uh, gold and silver have TD9 count bottoming patterns out here. So that's what we're going to take a look at with Earl when we get back from this break. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Let's go to Seminole, Florida to speak to Earl. Earl, thanks for holding. Thanks for calling. How are you doing this uh, this afternoon? Great, uh, Steve. I want to first off wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. And same to you and your family. <laughs> uh, what, I, what I was looking at was you mentioned patterns, and I noticed gold and silver seem to do well in the month of December. Uh, yes. Going back and looking at it you know, past, uh, performance. And so I've been in the GLD here at the bottom. I got in it pretty close to the bottom, I think. Okay. I uh, was wondering, uh, does it look like it's got a, uh, a good upside for the end of the year? Well, so let's take a look at gold specifically. And I'm going to look at the, even though you called about the GLD, I'm going to look at the gold contract, which is the February contract sure. right now that we're trading. It, and it what this did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The so what this follows in lockstep, really. Yes, exactly. And so the pattern's pretty clear here, and that is that this formed a TD nine count. It did it on February on December the second. My apology, but December the second. It did it on the bar following bar number nine, and that was being accomplished right at its breakout level of seventeen seventy three. So that's good. Um, its oscillator and change line changed colors on Friday. So I don't know if you were caught the uh, first two, two segments of the show, but typically when that changes color, we see price and that line catch up to each other. It doesn't tell us how, you know, it could be a sideways move, the line continues to fall it's because it's a ratio um, uh, or price moves up to it. But that's the that's what you're looking for next. If price like the Dow equity future contract that we looked at during the first segment was traded above its oscillator and change line after it changed color. When that happens mm -hmm. in price in the case of gold, case of the GLD, if it clo gold ch uh, closes above 1800 and 40 cents or thereabouts, if price moves higher, that number is going to change up. So you got to use that as kind of a guideline. But if price closes above the oscillator and change line, that suggests a further move higher. Further move higher to where? Well, there's a, actually a new profile that's forming that does not show on this set of charts, but it does show on this black background chart. And so that's where we'll go to next. And that's at 180220. So there's 1800, which is the oscillator and change line. There's 180220, the top of the weekly profile. The answer to your question, Earl, lies right there. You asked, does this have good upside potential? You've identified that December is a, a favorable seasonal cycle period for gold. I'm amazed that I actually got that out in the first try. And uh, um, so that then says, if price can take out resistance, 1802.20, then the answer to your question would be yes. And that yes would then say price should go up towards its descending trend line. And that descending trend line is at about the 1877 level out there. Before it gets to 1877, there's some resistance at 1828. Does that answer your question? It sure does. Or at least establish the parameters for you. Now, what are the yeah. parameters for GLD? So that's a good question. So let me at least give those to you. They'll be approximate to what we're looking at inside of gold. If you give me a moment uh -huh. here, I just need to change screens. And then we'll put up the uh, GLD. Let's do it on the uh, right here, just the daily. That's all that we need. And I'll pull this over. And that way you've got something to look at there. And so on the GLD, the number is where price is targeted. I don't know why this is not updating right now, but it should be about 167.96 or thereabouts. And if price can okay. close above that in the GLD, then we've got a chance for this to run up to the 174.36 area. But you and I, we both have to pay attention to the gold contract. I too am long gold and the uh, miners out here. And uh, so we'll just simply have to really monitor gold because in the overnight session, uh, Earl, is where we can see price get up test and reject those levels so that's where that's what i would be watching uh the 1800 okay. is 1802 level for gold can you take a quick look at it dslv sure sure so if we take a look at uh, silver so in the case of slv out here uh silver's done really the same thing now when i say the same thing let me uh, pull over the silver chart give me a moment here to change my screens and sure. in the case of silver it too formed a td nine count bottom so here's silver it did it the exact same way that uh, gold did. It did it on the bar following bar number nine. That was that's labeled as bar number one on my screen. And as long as price stays above, it can trade below, but it has to close above that level. That level, by the way, is uh, 2218. Now, its oscillator and change line also changed color. So, Earl, price should go target that area. That is presently printing at 2318. And above that level, we'd be looking to move to about the 2369. And these are resistance areas. And then if price can close above that, then we're looking at 2533. 
So with regard to that's that's take a look at the gold contract, I'm sorry, the silver contract, which is the March contract that we're looking at. If I go pull open the SLV just to give that, I'm going to change screens here again, just to give you a feel for where those levels are. Okay. Charts, SLV, same chart that we're looking at out here. And you'll see in this case here, the SLV has a TD nine count pattern as well. Its price target is likely the 2140 area. And that is its oscillator and change line. Okay. You're the best. <laughs> well, uh, well, I, 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 thank you for saying that. I think there's uh, others that would uh, would disagree with you, but that's okay. We, we do our no, best. No, no. Your analysis has been, uh, I'll tell you, 90%. And I really appreciate you guys. Well, we appreciate you. Without you, we'd have uh, nothing. So, Earl, thanks so much for uh, being a, uh, a TFNN uh, listener, subscriber, and uh, we'll look forward to speaking to you again. And uh, nice job on trying to catch that bottom. Make sure you've got a stop in place. And you certainly don't want to see a close below 1761.40. That would say both you oh, and I are on the wrong no. side of the trade. I've got a tight stop on you. Perfect. Thanks. All right, well, Merry Christmas. You, same to you, and thanks so much for the kind thoughts. That was Earl in uh, Seminole. La, phone lines are open, folks, 877-927-6648. We do have another question that has come in. That's perfect. And this one's from Yvonne. Yvonne wants to take a look at Tesla. So we'll definitely do that. Let's uh, get Tesla fired up, T-S-L-A. My white background charts. Let's go to our three time frame panels out here, T-S-L-A. And as we take a look at Tesla on the daily time frame, We'll see a nice little hammer candle today. We don't know if it will finish a and complete a hammer candle today, but we see a hammer candle that's held at support. That's at 1044. So as long as price stays above that, uh, that's a uh, and we, what we really have here is a sideways consolidation or what it appears. And that's after the gap to the upside. So that's a sign of strength from October the 25th. So price is pulled back into that level. Uh, is there a pattern that is out here? Other than the consolidation pattern and support, you know, with the bottom of the profiles out here, I doubt that there is, but let's go pull over the Tesla chart. I mean, just visually, it just looks only like a consolidation to me. And yeah, so I don't have any kind of a signal, bottoming signal, other than just looking at price getting back to that uh, sign of strength, that gap to the upside. So if uh, Yvonne, if you're looking to get into a long trade here, I could see that. Now realize that uh, you could easily get to uh, just a consolidation, which may find the resistance at the 1124 level. It could be all the way up at 1200, but that would be your range. The weekly time frame chart for Tesla tells us what? You know, what you don't like is that last week and this week, we're right now, last week price closed just below its oscillator and change line. It just suggests that its momentum is waning a bit, uh, but if price can overtake 1032, let's say, then that's that, that waning Will, will go away. It'll get back into its bearish ways. Now, what the weekly chart is really telling us is that it is neutral. It would be neutral if price could get above the 1032 level because on a weekly basis, you have a valid Rhodes momentum indicator top out there that has led to this sideways consolidation. But it is at the bottom or appears to be at the bottom of its consolidation. Boy, the monthly has a uh, Rhodes momentum indicator top two. But um, if you're looking just to trade this, you know, you have a stop with a close below 1,000, and uh, you look at uh, this getting up into about the 1124 level. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paper White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We've got uh, two questions in the Tiger's Den, one by email. Let's go to the uh, in order out here. Uh, the first question in the Tiger's Den is coming from John from uh, Philly. And John asked a question. Let me pull over. He said, use the New York Stock Exchange chart. So I've got that. We'll pull this over. Let's go read the question out here. And the question is, uh, Steve, uh, please discuss rules use of uh, TD9 count uh, pattern uh, can, uh, can apply to the New York Stock Exchange daily chart. Okay, so we've got that up here. Does the TD9 count pattern always suggest a reverse? So my definition of reversal may be different than yours. So let's go take a look at what a TD9 count typically implies. And we'll just look look at this with the with this set of charts out here. So the TD9 count is a is a tool that we use that helps us to identify tops or bottoms. Does it always work? Which is another part of the question here. Yeah, it always works. Uh, um, uh, but does it always turn into a, uh, a top or a bottom? No, not necessarily. Remember the TD9 count top, and so I'm gonna look here at, and I'll try to draw an arrow so that everybody's looking at the same thing here. So here's a TD9 count top that forms, that's not even an arrow. Let's try the arrow, Steve. Let's see, is it this one, this? There we go, okay, perfect. So right here is what we're talking about. Let me get my cross here so we can look at the exact same day. So a TD9 count pattern forms on October 19th. And it does it on the bar, uh, yeah, October 19th. And that is the bar following bar number nine. Now, the cool thing about this is, so what is a TD9 count in, in essence? I look at this as uh, being the sprint in a race because it takes nine consecutive closes where each close has to be above the close of the bar four bars earlier. So just picture yourself running the 100 yard dash. You would attempt that differently than if you were gonna run a marathon. So in this case here, the TD9 count, we see it on a chart, is the 100 yard dash. Typically you're out of energy, but you could be Hussein Bolt and you could do the 200 yard dash out here. Well, if price closes above the top of a TD9 count, in this case here, that was high from October 19th, and especially if it does it on the very following session, tells you about a strong momentum move to the upside. So that's the first thing to take a look at. So you can use that for both strong momentum moves because that's what's underway when you have a TD9 count. It is a momentum move. It is that 100 yard dash out there. Uh, so what we typically see take place, John, is on TD9 counts, such as the TD9 count that we have that took place inside the uh, New York Stock Exchange. It formed on December the 1st out there it was bar, the bar following bar number uh, nine. 
What we typically see is that move to the oscillator and change line, 16,693. So that's what we expect right now. Let's pull this chart back further and look at other TD9 counts. Let me just get rid of this arrow. We can just move this right over here. Here's a TD9 count. Now, in this case here, what uh, when it formed that count, John, typically what we see is price get back to the oscillator and change line. If it's a bottom, it moves up to it. If it's a top, it typically moves down to it. What happens when the TD9 count on August 2nd actually hits that green line? Well, it depends whether it's green or red. When it's green, that tells us about a strong momentum move as well. And price has to close below that in order to suggest that there's any kind of a valid top. But price will typically pull its way back to that level. If we take a look at a TD9 count that formed out here, the bar following bar number nine on June the 7th, price was still above that oscillator and change line. Price never took it out, never closed above the high of that pattern. Once price got below that oscillator and change line, which it did on the following session, that was on June 8th, that gives us more of an indication that we should see price pull back, pull back to some area of support. In the case of the New York Stock Exchange, it was pulling back into a prior swing point out there, the swing points from May. So if we just keep going here, here's a TD9 count, forms that uh, top on the, or the tie, I should say, on April the 9th. Price is testing that oscillator and change line. It's important, John, to be able to put together. So I use the oscillator and change line along with the TD9 counts. And on instruments where we have TAS market profiles, those are also incorporated into the system itself. So it's not just a one indicator does all, we have to use it in relationship to the oscillator and change line, as well as those TAS market profiles. So I hope that that helps answer each of your questions out there. Um, and if it doesn't, then I know you'll write back to me and I'll try to answer it that way. And you're welcome. So um, let me see here. There was a question inside the Tigers, and I believe it was Tucker. Tucker might have been, uh, I, I'm not going to go back and look to see who it was, but and if it was you, Tucker, great. And if not, it was somebody else, my apology. But the question was, can we take a look at natural gas looking for a bottom? So the natural gas contract, you've got, um, you know, you can still trade the January contract. So let's go ahead and put up the January or the February would be the preferred at this stage here. But let's go take a look at the Is there a bottom? The answer is no. There's an A to B equals CD to the downside. There's at least a couple of them. So we can draw those in here. Here's the first one that forms, the A to B equals CD pattern. Let's go draw in a second one. Uh, we can draw multiple A to B equals CD patterns out here. So we've got this coming down into, oh, I'd say here, then up to here. And so there is the one to one. So right now we have kind of a a uh, two A to B equals CD patterns that suggest Tucker that the next level to the downside of natural gas is in the 345, 339 level. Now with these A to B equals CD patterns, what we want to see out here to confirm a bottom is some type of bullish reversal candle. Today was a gap to the downside, so clearly not a bullish reversal candle there. So the earliest that we could get that would be uh, tomorrow. Um, and I don't have anything else out here with regard to natural gas. I believe if I can, I, I can't do that here. Mm, I can't do, oh, I know where I can do that, where I already have that done. So that's one level to be looking at. Another level out here is the bottom of its monthly profile. So it's below the bottom of its daily, it's below the bottom of the weekly, that's at the 434 level. And so maybe price is gonna go target the bottom of that monthly profile, and that's at $3.34. In that case there, yeah, that's the January contract as well. Uh, I'll flip that over on this chart here in the next couple of uh, days. Uh, but uh, you're asking, is there a bottom? I don't see it inside of natural gas. Doesn't mean it couldn't have, but for me and my work, what I need to see is a, in this case, a bullish reversal candle that goes ahead and confirms that pattern. So I hope that helps you out. And thanks so much for writing in. Now let's get to our email question. This one coming in from uh, Rich. And Rich wants to take a look at net. Uh, so let me do this here. Uh, give me a moment. I need to just change my screens out. Get back. R. R comes before. There we go. Now let me get net going on the white background charts. And now we'll go take a look at net here. Here being the black background charts. And this is Cloud Cloud Flare. So Cloud Flare. And what's the question? I have a long-term position. Do you see any bottoming signals? or support levels that consider buying more. If you have time, could you please take a look at the XBI? Sure, we'll do both. So do I see a bottoming pattern? When we come to just simply profiles, 
you're asking about support. Prices trading below support on the daily and below support on the weekly. The support on the weekly was 155.60. So that looked good on Friday's close. And now today doesn't look so good. The high is 155.60 today. The bottom of that weekly profile is 155.60. So that signals to you and I, Rich, that price wants to move lower. Now, your specific question is, do I see any kind of a bottom? Well, we know that prices trading below support. By the way, the monthly doesn't have enough data to generate a TAS market profile. What we also know about net is on a daily basis, price uh, about four days ago, creamed right below its breakout level, 174.74. There is an A to B equals CD to the downside. I won't draw that in here because what we know, it's already exceeded the one-to-one -one level. I can visually see that. You can visually see that. And so now what you'd be waiting for is some type of bullish reversal candle. Until that happens, Rich, chances are price heads lower. Heads lower to where? Well, 111.57 is the next breakout level. Oftentimes when you crash through one, and I don't mean crash, but you close below one, you move to the next. That's on the daily time frame. As we take a look at the weekly chart here for net and we populate this, you've got a Rhodes momentum indicator top two. This suggests price get back to 8032. So I know you've got a long-term position out here. I would make sure that I have a stop in place. You're gonna get a TD nine count top on the monthly time frame. So all of this is suggesting lower price and not adding to it right now. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. One of our dinners, Dan from Boston, wants to take a look at ticker symbol C-E-L-H. 
So let me get that fired up here. That is uh, Celsius Holdings out here. And I'm looking at CLH to short. That said, the entry looks like it is at 83 to 88. I would say the entry might be to the short side, would be 72.46, Dan. That's the number that I would look at. Uh, anything that charts uh, that tells you not to buy now. So you're saying you're looking to shorter. I'm looking to see how it's to short. <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, let me just kind of give you my review of CELH. First, with regard to a counter trend rally, uh, if it's going to end, uh, should it rally even from here, uh, it would be the 7246 level I'd be looking. It's a bullish structure daily profile. You close below it uh, for two consecutive sessions last week. We know that counter trend rallies, if it's just a counter trend rally, will typically poop out at the bottom, but more often than not, the center of the profile level. 7246, that's what I would be looking at there. If I look at my other background screens here, CELH looks like a buy right now. Why does it look like a buy? Because you formed that TD9 count bottom. So that is uh, being formed as we speak today. Uh, price should bounce to where? Well, to be the oscillator and change line. That's at 68.22. Now, that's the first line of resistance. If price tests that because it's red and rejects it, then you would get to a neutral signal. You wouldn't get to the bearish signal until you took out the TD9 count low out there. Uh, if price does get above that oscillator and change line, though, because this is a bullish structure profile, Dan, 72.46 would be a resistance level. If price gets above that, 75.13 is resistance level. And if price gets above that, then price is going to go ahead to the top of the profile at 78.77. But as we speak right now, CELH on the daily time frame is a buy based upon the TD9 count, based upon on the uh, weekly time frame, price still being above the top of its profile out there. And that's what I see. So I hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for the request. And folks, thanks so much for being here on Magnificent Monday. The good news is because it's magnificent, we've got two amazing shows lined up for you next. Your favorite polar bear, David White, with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home from 3 to 4. I'll be back with you tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m. sharp. So have a magical, marvelous, magnificent Monday, folks. And we'll see you on Terrific Tuesday. <laughs>